just one more day to December the 1st, which equals today as Tuesday, November 30th, 2021, and a warm welcome to the channel. My name is James, and for those people who are new to the channel, a very warm welcome. Welcome to our community, and a formality that I have to do until I reach 100,000 subscribers is the like, subscribe, and share. Today we are talking about this headline. Fears rise over safety of China's Free Gorges Dam. And without further ado, let's get into it. But before we do, this is a reading alert. Reading alert. Reading alert. Reading alert. Here it is. China's massive Three Gorges Dam has become distorted, and authorities say today, after failing to quell days of speculation about its structural integrity. The dam's operator insisted such distortions revealed by satellite images were normal and that safety had not been compromised. With distortions, the dam body is an elastic state, the China Free Gorges Corporation said. All data within the design limits, all structures are operating normally, and the project is operating safely and reliably. The Three Gorges Dam has been around for numerous years now, but it constantly comes up with danger, safety issues. And not in this year of 2021, but in years before, the deluge of the Yangtze River downstream from the Three Gorges Dam, many people had been missing after the worst floods in decades. The Red Cross had warned that food supplies for the next six months will be, or may be, disrupted. In past years, millions of people have been infected and more than 300,000 people have been moved out of their area, the Red Cross has announced, related to disaster manager for East Asia. At the moment, they are looking for relief supplies, tents and food supplies for these people living in temporary shelters. Floods in past years often happen at this time of year, but this year the rain has been so heavy that it may not subside until September after the rainy season. This, according to the Red Cross, is a serious problem. May I just remind you, this is not related to 2021, but this is some of the history of the Free Gorges Dam. Chinese governments have intensified the cont contribution to the relief effort with families receiving help. In the long run, there will be huge needs for supports for the loss of harvest. There will be huge amounts of money needed for China to help support people back to their normal life. The Free Gorges Reservoir hits, even last year, the highest mark ever, above 175, which is the maximum level. Okay, let's have a look at the levels and also the weather around the Free Gorges Dam and Central China over the next coming days.
The Simpsons Tiananmen episode not found in Hong Kong. An episode of The Simpsons that refers to Tiananmen Square Massacre is being reported to be missing from Disney streaming service in Hong Kong. Customers noticed that episode 12 of season 16 in Disney's Plus channel launched in the city this month. It comes as authorities in Hong Kong clamp down on the entertainment industry, banning films that violate strict national security law. Disney has not commented on this missing episode. The episode name is called Goo Goo Gay Pan, sees the cartoon family visit China. During their trip to Beijing, they visit Tiananmen Square, where a sign reads, on this site in 1989, nothing happened. A nod to censorship of the deadly crackdown of protesters in that year. I remember watching The Simpsons, the first episode, way back in 1989. But I think I watched my first one when I was in Casablanca in 1990 on Sky TV. I think it was the very early days. And it's a, a wonderful form of comedy, maybe getting a little bit old now. But this is the Chinese government for you, trying to eradicate something very important in history. It's not just a cartoon books in bookshops in Hong Kong, free Hong Kong, gone, schools, no, they won't even talk about 1989 in free Hong Kong. What happened to the 50-year policy? It sounds like China just can't await. China always claims not to be the bully or the aggressor. They are just trying to clean up history in favour of them. It's like saying World War II, near enough, didn't happen. It was just a glitch and you're meant to just forget Tiananmen or you're meant to forget World War II. It's just terrible. And you will never see any of the Western shills in China talk about this. Or if they did, it was all pro and it was a good thing when obviously it was a bad thing. Once again, the innocent, the people who are not happy usually get quashed and then life unfortunately moves on in that way. I feel for the people in Hong Kong. I do remember the incident way back in 1989 like it was yesterday. I can still see the images and every country, every country in one form or another does have, does have bad parts of history. And we should learn from this. We shouldn't eradicate so it won't happen again that we can learn from. That's why we study history in school. The truth is out there. The truth should remain out there. It shouldn't be quashed. CCP, this, what you're doing is a bad thing. Yeah. Bring back episode 12 on season 16 of The Simpsons and hopefully more people in China possibly can see the truth. Food for thought. Thank you so much for your time. Do enjoy the rest of the day. A little bit later on, I do have something American for you and a little tour of the Grand Canyon and canyons in the United States of America. How do you find out about it? Quite simply, subscribe, hit the notification button or smash the notification button and click all. And then hopefully you're going to see every video that I publish. I am trying some new techniques or techniques related to my channel and I do believe that my reading is getting better. One person did ask me to do a reading alert and I think I did it. Don't forget the mugs, very important, only $15 each all going to a good cause. Be good, be well, be safe, thank you, bye bye for now, bye bye.